Hello friends, this video on chemical reactions and equations part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 6. A good number of exercise for that. Let's see the type of chemical reactions actually. So typically there are 5 types of chemical reactions. The first is combination reaction, decomposition reaction, displacement reaction, double displacement reaction and combustion reaction. There are 5 kind of chemical reactions we have. There are other types also, but they fall in this type. For example, I'll tell you, typically any chemical equation you can see, by looking at the equation, you can say that this is one of the type. Correct? But there are other types of chemical reactions also, that is based on the property. Redox reaction is whether oxidation is going on, or reduction is going on, we'll explain this. Acid-base reaction, that is whether the reaction is between acid and base, acid and metal reaction, exothermic, endothermic, that is where the reaction is giving out heat or we have to provide heat for the reaction. Precipitation reaction, whether you get precipitations from that reaction. Catalysis reaction, whether catalysis is required or not. Biochemical reactions, organic chemistry reactions, photochemical reactions, solid state reactions, corrosion reaction, ratification reaction. There are so many reactions type but all of these reactions type will fall into that five reactions which I have explained, right? So we'll, we'll go through all these kind of reactions. We'll see that all these reactions, right? Redox reactions, it can be exothermic uh, redox reactions, it can be uh, any of these displacement or combination. The five, the, the five basic types which we talked about in the previous slides these reactions can be any of those reactions. So basically what I'm trying to say that given any chemical equation or given chemical reaction, it has to be one of those five types which we have discussed in the previous slides. So let's discuss those uh, five types. The first is the combination reaction. The combination reaction. Before I even I go for the combination reaction, let me go to the analogy of combination reactions. So the general form of combination reaction is you have two chemical A and B, it combines to form chemical AB and there may be some thing required, for example, heat is required or something, external thing is required, right, extra condition. But general logic is you have two chemicals that combines or synthesize to form AB. So the analogy is there's one guy, there's another guy, there are two guys, you can say A and B. Now, they both like chemistry subject and if you see that they become best buddies so this is one compound so they, there was two compound a and b there were two students a and b and they become one 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 identity that is they became best buddies right so there was one compound a one compound b if you see and they became best buddies because of the chemistry subject right so, so if you see there were two things and that became one thing that is the example of synthesis or a combination reaction. Sometimes you need external factor, for example, chemistry subject is one external factor we have that made these guys <coughs> best buddies. Sometimes even that is not required. They just become best buddies. So, in the form of chemistry, again, uh, we'll touch upon this definition of the same reaction, combination and chemical reaction. We'll see this concept from a chemistry lens. lens. So we have two elements that becomes combines to becomes AB. So it is, the description is two chemical species combine to become a single compound, right? So we have two chemical species, to, they become a single compound. And that is an uh, example of a combination reaction. For example, you have a quick lime and you add water to it, it becomes shake lime. So if you see, there are two elements here. One was a quick lime and one was the water and it combined to become a shake lime. That is CaO was my quick lime, the solid you give water to it becomes COOH2 plus aqueous and if you see this guy gives heat also right it gives heat so this is an exothermic reaction so this is one of the reaction which you will learn now I mean after some 10 20 slides but what I'm trying to say is that this reaction is also another type of reaction also for example this this chemical reaction this synthesis or combination reaction can be other reaction also so, so we have hydrogen plus oxygen, you combine these two molecules, you become, you get water. So you have hydrogen gas, 
oxygen gas, you combine this, you become get water. So you have two products, you get one product. So we have sodium and chlorine. You add these two, you get sodium chloride. So you have sodium and chlorine, one was sodium was solid, chlorine was gas, you get NaCl that is again solid. So you have magnesium and oxygen, you add these two, you get magnesium oxide, this we have done actually. So you heat this, so you, you have this magnesium ribbon, so you heat this in presence of oxygen, you get magnesium oxide. This is also one combination reaction we have, we have, we have two elements you combine to get a single element. You have carbon monoxide and you have oxygen, you again uh, heat this guy, right, so you get carbon dioxide. So that, that's again a combination reaction because you have two products and you got a single product as an output. So, one more example, you have sulfur dioxide and oxygen, you get, you combine these two, you get sulfur dioxide and oxygen, you get SO3, that is a gas. So, these are some examples of the chemical reaction, which are combination chemical reactions or synthesis chemical reaction. The point here is that in all these reactions, we have two products, you get one product as output. We have two product, one output. Two product, you get one output. You have two inputs, you get one output. So, the, the reactant path has two items and the product path has one item. That's the example of synthesis chemical reaction. Let's do an activity for that. So what I can do is we can take some amount of, of calcium oxide or quick lime in a beaker. So this is a beaker and we have taken some lime in this. Slowly add some water to it. Let's add some water. If you see right, this thing got dissolved. This thing got dissolved, right? So if you see, the moment we add water, this, this thing got dissolved. And now let's touch the beaker. And what you will notice that it's hot. This is hot. So what has happened here? So we have this COA, CAO, the, the line we have, quick line. On this we added water. This gave aqueous solution. This is aqueous solution actually with the CAO. And it gave heat also. So if you see, two items became one item, right? And this is an example of my synthesis chemical reaction correct so where we have two inputs a and b it gives you a new output called a one product thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again